Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn, and let's get started. This is a very quick summary of all the parts of a circle, starting with the definition. So a circle is defined to be a set of points that are all equidistant, the same distance, from a particular point which we call the center. In this circle, I'm gonna label the center O, and O is going to be the same distance from any point on the outside of the circle. I'm going to label this other point Q. So the segment um, that joins O and Q is an example of a radius. A radius is any segment with its endpoints at the center and the outside of the circle. A segment that passes through the center with endpoints on the circle is called a diameter. A diameter is twice as big as a radius, and it divides a circle into two equal semicircles. So this segment, PR, this is called a diameter. A line that intersects a circle at two points is called a secant line. So this line through PQ, that's an example of a secant line. On the other hand, if a line just touches at one point and bounces off the circle, that's called a tangent line. So this line, RT, is an example of a tangent line. Now, the portion of a circle, the round outside part that connects two points, that's called an arc. So an example of an arc would be this portion in red between P and Q. On the other hand, between P and Q, we also have a line segment. A segment with endpoints on the circle is called a chord. So this blue portion between P and Q is called a chord. So to summarize, a segment with an endpoint at the center and an endpoint on the circle is called a radius. If you have more than one of them, they're called radii. A segment with endpoints on the circle is called a chord. A segment passing through the center with endpoints on the circle is called a diameter. A diameter divides a circle into two equal parts called semicircles. A line that touches a circle in only one point is called a tangent line to the circle, and a line that intersects a circle in two points is called a secant line. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.